Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're doing a Ford Cougar. We're just doing this door trim, as you can see where it's all scored down. And inside the door shut here, there's a big scratch running all the way through. Um, I did book this in to paint that up and repair that. But uh, you'll see later on in the video what we ended up doing. Just getting this all masked off so I can start prepping. It's only a small job, this one. Came out well, though. Start sanding with 320 grit. I got bored and got the DA out. You'll see in a second. <laughs> there we go. On the DA with 320 grit. It's only a few scrapes. No dents or anything like that and going over it with a 500 soft pad ready for a bit of primer right as you can see here all them marks are removed so it turns out it wasn't a scratch it was like a plastic transfer um don't know what was dragged across it the owner didn't know either so i managed to remove all of that with a bit of thinners and then i polished it up a bit later on using an 800 soft pad here to key up the rest of the area so we can lacquer over it as you can see all uh, scuffed up of 800 just giving it a clean down very important to keep cleaning always keep your work area as clean as possible I'm just getting some um, scuff stuff and a scotch cloth. And normally I would use a, like an 800 prep pad and then a 1000 prep pad wet. But uh, I'm running low on my 800 prep pads. I'm just waiting for a delivery. Uh, I'm trying a different brand. Um, CNET do uh, soft pad 800. So I'm going to give that a go when it turns up. But uh, yeah, I'm just using a bit of Presta Scuff Stuff, which is my scuffing paste of choice. And um, yeah, just a little bit of water-based degreaser on the uh, Scotch Scuff. You can use normal water. I just, that was right beside me, so I just used that. And um, give that a good old scrub up, mat it all off. Get it ready. No surprises, cleaning down again. I get loads and loads of comments saying, how do I get my job so clean? Not all of them come out mint, but a lot of them come out fairly clean. And I'm a great believer in just keep cleaning as you go along and the cleaner you can keep things and keep contamination off of things, the better your end result is. So now all of me masking's wet. I only put that on for sanding purposes, so I'm going to pull that off, uh, remask it, and get ready for uh, primer and paint. So all of the area is ready for paint and clear coat now. We'll uh, mask up the area just for primer. Then we'll prep that out, and then we're ready to go. Um, so we get the whole lot done in one go. So we're masking it all back off again now. Get it ready for paint. Well, primer first uh, and then paint. Just masking all around the trim and then uh, sort of a bit of back mask inside the door. Trying to bag this up. It was quite windy. It was a blooming pain. <laughs> um, set a bit of plastic primer on and just using a bit of... Uh, black high build aerosol primer on that there was very minimal damage there so it's all feathered out just blocking that down with a bit of 500 soft pad on a little flexible block there and then going 
going back over the five of a bit of eight. Cleaning again. Get ready for a bit of base coat. get some clear on this thing Okay, let's go, round two. clean so far let's get this baked off here we go guys literally one don't live there it's not worth polishing because there's marks all around the rest of the car it just stand out too much they're only sending this back so they didn't want the score mark in there 
and I polished all in here. Got that then sweet, got all the marks off for them there. Yeah, Parker. So there we have it guys, that is officially job jobbed. Um, yeah, didn't polish it, it was one little dust nib. I showed the customer, I said, I don't mind polishing it. I said, but to be honest, we don't really want to highlight the rest of the marks on your car. <laughs> you can't see it unless you're down on your knees looking at it. So, no, that's fine. So, yeah, there we have it. Um, I got away with painting the inside the door shut. I was going to blow that in with my airbrush, but it turned out to be some kind of, I don't know, like plastic transfer or something. Uh, a bit of thinners on a rag got it off, bit of dressing and a bit of, a bit of polishing and a bit of dressing. Uh, sweet as a nut. So, uh, yeah, I just charged the cording leaf for that. Um, so I, had, I had quoted to charge him to blow it in with an airbrush and blend it and what have you, but I didn't have to. So um, I reduced the price for him. He was over the moon with that. So, yeah, here we have it. That is officially it for me today. As always, a massive thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.